Now we will learn about how we can control the servo motor using ROS2. And for that we have to include a library which is ESP32 servo library. And this will be dealing with the servo stuff. And we will click sketch include library manage libraries. And from here we can search our library which is ESP32 and servo. This is the library ESP32 servo and you can click install and this will be installed and now we will go to the file example we will look for that included library which is here ESP32 servo and it has the example code we are going to select this sweep and we will take this code as a reference and we will be editing and modifying our code in the first place we will include this library there is an object of the server okay then we have to mention the server pin the server pin in our case is server is connected to the pin number 12 here you can see so we will write the 12 so in the word setup we have to mention all these conventions that is provided by the example code we will copy this simply and go to the word setup and here we will mention this verify this if everything goes well so our library is included successfully and it's also configured now we have to create a subscriber for the servo here we will create the object of the servo and we can now close this in here we have to create the subscriber for this the message type will be again in it because in the server we have to operate the servo from angle 0 to angle 45 at the maximum and we can easily handle in in eight let's mention here servo subscriber here led subscriber in here we will uh, also add this line for a new subscriber we are feeding the subscriber to the, to the all clc executor in here we have mentioned the servo subscriber server message and here it is servo callback that we have to create right now in here we will write the servo callback function and and there will be a position of the server let's create a variable that is in server position that will be keeping track of the server position as we have to limit the server position to 45 degree angle so we will be creating a function and limit to maximum value and it takes the input value and the maximum value if the value exceeds the maximum limit it will then give us the maximum allowed limit it means whenever a user inputs 180 degree angle it will not feed the 180 degree exactly because if it feeds 180 degree angle the server will be pushing its boundary for that reason we will limit here the server position variable server position is limit to the maximum value and then the angle that is coming from here we will give it to the maximum of 40 degree angle just to be safe and then write this server position to the my servo so this position will be given to the servo motor and the servo motor will reach that angle let's save this and verify it yes this is compiled now we have to upload this and now this is uploaded now remember that in our circuit the servo motor will be powered when we turn on the switch by using just the ESP power we cannot operate the servo motor because it draws a lot of current and it is directly powered by the battery not from the voltage booster we have to disconnect the wire of the ESP32 and then we will turn the switch on in order to operate we will connect via Wi-Fi disconnect from here turn on the switch now we will be connecting it via micro ROS agent and now we have uh, run the command but this is not uh, connected yet 
Now we will do a she start. And yes, now this is connected. There is the topic server. Now you have to publish value over this topic in order to operate this server. It is not moving. So we have one thing that we have made a mistake. We did not allow it to execute two threads we have to update this number and change it to two save it and now we have to turn off the robot and plug in the ESP32 and uh, now upload it again okay now disconnect the wire and turn on the button reconnect with the Microsoft agent this is connected and now we will publish we will publish zero yes this goes to zero and if we publish 10 yes this is giving us response we will give it again 40 Yes, this is absolutely working. That's it for now.